Thank you, Madi. Thank you, Marco. Good afternoon, everyone. Have you just seen uh, my colleague uh, in the presentation? It's not enough to be refrigeration technician. You have to be fireman also. Because you have to know how to, to dump fire before being a technician. And this is uh, a, a great challenge. As Marco said, we are uh, just a new association, African association in the rock sector. We are globally 54 countries. And we are working to have a technician. And meantime, we need firemen also. So it's, it's not easy has a new association, but we are collaborating with ARIA, with some other institution, uh, UN, UN uh, institution, to grow the knowledge and, of course, uh, to highlight the challenges we have in refrigeration sector nowadays. As you know, we have new technologies. Uh, in Africa, we are still using, unfortunately, the whole technology, but we are already in the new technology. In, in some countries, even experiencing some fires, some burns, some deaths, from coming from a, a new equipment with flammable refrigerant. So that means it's very serious. We don't know exactly in Africa of, or we have to be a technician or fireman first, because both we need it in this moment in Africa. And I don't have a presentation to show you because all things said before is the play in Africa. And the very big issue now, we already start to distribute in some countries flammable air conditioners. And we are experiencing some bad issues because we have some fires and of course damage and losing lives. It's very important, the training. And the training is crucial on all levels. As you know, Africa, most of technicians are in the informal sector. Informal sector, and most of them, unfortunately, too, haven't changed to being a school. So we have to address this issue. That's the challenge of u Act. is a very, very hard challenge to have technician and fireman. So we are working, we are working closely with ARIA. We already get trainings in alternative refrigerant. We are working with UNEP to train for our real program, but it's not enough. It's not enough because you already know here, when the European Commission said in 2027, we have to start to install splits with hydrocarbon here. All of you here say no. It's not time for us. Don't worry, we Africa, we started six years ago. So we can make it also supporting us and get experiences for, Afri for Africa. I'll stop here because I, I don't have to waste your time because we have a lot to say about this matter. I know we have some question interaction in this matter. You react in Africa, in, in an area, in Europe, we had together to address a global issue. After all, we used to say, this world is a small village, and we have to think now, in this village, we're not on, on area. We are talking about volume. So if you bring your words to the whole of your neighborhood, be sure you will smell something if you have some wind passing through your home. Thank you so much.